Hey friends, Power Guy Rob Phoenix here. Um, just wanted to say hello, and um, uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about because um, Phoenix Line is getting a number of requests for people to learn powwowing. Um, it's great that there's an interest in it, but I just want to offer some advice to anyone who might be thinking about um, reaching out to someone. Uh, to learn powwowing. Uh, a little bit of advice. Um, the, the first thing I would say is uh, try to figure it out, you know, why it is you want to learn powwowing. If it's, if you want to learn it because maybe it was in your family and you're curious about it, maybe your family stopped talking about it, you know, and won't answer your questions, that's really common. Uh, that's very common in Pennsylvania. So you might be one of those people. Uh, you very well could have powwow in your family and they stop talking about it and you just have this interest in it. Uh, nobody's helping you out. So I think that's a very, uh, very great reason for wanting to learn the tradition. Um, and certainly, uh, you know, I can't, I, I can't really speak for who's out there teaching because other than me or, you know, my line, I don't know anybody else. Um, that doesn't mean somebody's not out there willing to take on students. There might be some of the oldsters out there still like, you know, quietly teaching people. Um, so if you're lucky enough to find one of those persons, that'd be awesome. Um, you know, maybe you just want to learn for academic reasons uh, to learn what the, uh, the tradition was all about. So in those situations, I would recommend you go to some academic sources first, which would be like, uh, Patrick Dunmoyer's books, his work, and David Kriebel, you know, they're the more academic um, sources for Palo and information. Go to like the Pennsylvania German Cultural Center um, you know, in uh, Quitstown. Uh, go to the Pennsylvania German Folk Festival every year in Quitstown. You'll meet some people who can really give you a good education. Um, and it'll be right from the source and it'll be very academic and solid. Uh, so if, if that's your interest, that's the way I would recommend you go. Um, if you are, you feel like you're called to do some sort of folk healing, folk ritualistic um, work, uh, because maybe you feel called by God to do something like that, then, you know, that's a great reason to learn. Um, it's good to learn to the tradition so you can practice the tradition um, so anyway I think that's important consideration figure out do you really want to learn are you willing to commit to learning or is it just sort of a passing interest and you might want to learn a few things about it but not commit yourself to becoming an actual like uh, student um, so those are important things, because if you just want some information about it, you know, that's where all the books that are available come in handy, uh, my website. Um, so there you go. Uh, finding a teacher can be hard. Um, finding somebody who's willing to speak about powwow, especially one of the older folks, it's not only difficult, it's actually really rare now. Um, it's getting harder and harder to find those folks. Uh, just because, you know, they're getting older and they're not passing it on. Um, or they might be passing it on, but they're doing so very quietly. So it's just kind of sticking in their family, sticking in their local community, you know, and whatever. And that's okay. Um, but it does make it difficult for people. I know it was really difficult for me over the years, uh, tracking people down who could teach me or just give me anything. I was desperate for any little, like, morsel. Um... So I did get a lot of morsels, uh, but nowadays, maybe not so much. You know, I don't, I don't, you know, I can't promise what you're going to find out there. Um, but just make sure that when you do get uh, somebody willing to teach you that, you know, you feel like you can trust that person to give you uh, good information. Um, one of the benefits to uh, embracing a tradition like powwow is that we have um, a wonderful recorded history. Our tradition is very well recorded throughout history. Um, there's a ton of work written on it. There's a ton of academia about it. There's a ton of historical references and articles. Um, 
and first and second hand accounts recorded. So um, it's a very well recorded tradition. We have the history. We, we can trace our back to our roots. Um, we know where we came from. We know what we are and we know what we are not. Uh, so that's really, that's like a very awesome thing about powwow is um, you can piece it all together. So the benefit of being a powwower is that sometimes people come to you and they have these claims that you've never heard of before and uh, or claims that just don't seem right. And you could say, you know, because we are such a well-documented tradition, you could say, well, that's, that's cool. Show me. Show me where you got that. Um, you know, other traditions can't really say that. You know, they are not as well documented. They are, they don't have the history that powwow does. Um, a lot of like neo magical traditions and such, you know, are a decade old maybe. And it doesn't matter how old something is. It's just that we have a really good traceable history that's verifiable, factual, historical, religious, cultural. It's good. So. That's like a huge, huge plus uh, within powwow. Um, another thing that uh, is is a cool thing about powwow is that it is a Christian tradition. So when people find out you're like a part of a Christian faith healing tradition, they might look at you a little sideways, but it is actually more socially acceptable than saying, you know, um, I'm a wizard you know, something like that, or uh, whatever other, you know, whatever people might be calling themselves. Um, not that it matters to be socially acceptable, but um, with something like powwow, it does, just because it was at one time embraced by the culture. And then it, you know, it sort of had a falling out and got negative press. And so people kind of got ashamed of it and it went underground. Um, but now it's resurfaced and now we want to make sure that people trust it. Um, so we want to be doing it the right way, with the right history, the right kind of people. Um, people that aren't going to turn it into something weird or something that it's not. Uh, so that's a really cool thing. So just some advice. Um, if you really want to learn the tradition and get a really good scope of all that powwow entails, um, take the time to learn. The astrology take the time to learn how to read and use like the farmer's almanac take the time to learn how to heal and to pray and to rely on God uh, take the time to undo any preconceived notions you have and just let yourself you know be open to it and remember that powwow is what it is we're not creating a new tradition we are embracing the old tradition and doing our very best to preserve it and practice it that way, as it is historically known in Pennsylvania German culture. Um, so there you go. That's my best advice. Uh, if now, I mean, everybody knows that I have a, a line in Powell and we offer teaching. Um, so if you're interested in learning from us, certainly you can do so. If you want to learn from somebody other than me, I honestly don't have anybody to refer you to. I wish I did. Um, it's just that I don't know who else is teaching powwow on the level that I and my and my people teach it. Um, but there you go. I mean, uh, so if you're interested, just send us a message. Um, otherwise, you can, you know, post in the comments that you're looking for a teacher. Maybe Phoenix Line might not be for you, and that's okay. Uh, maybe another powwow out there will see it and be available for teaching. Um, I don't know. I can't promise you that. I just don't really know anybody else that, you know, I know, if, I know a few powwowers just not actively teaching. So I guess that's all I had to say right now. Um, if you can think of any questions or if you need any other advice, you could just let me know, uh, in the commentary section, but otherwise that's all I had to say. So enjoy your day. God bless you. Love you. And we'll talk soon.